Watching consumer names today, here's Starbucks down seven and a quarter percent. Despite beating on earnings, our Kate Rogers joins us now to break down the quarter and some of the reactions here, Kate. Sarah, that's right. Starbucks had a big quarter last night reporting beats on the top and bottom lines and same store sales topping estimates across the board up 11 percent overall, up 12 percent in North America and China in particular, showing comp growth of 3 percent. That's key because it's the first positive comp for China since Q1 of 2021. China was also a challenge last quarter due to ongoing COVID lockdowns. Store traffic has also surpassed pre-pandemic levels in the company's busiest day parts in the United States. And CFO Rachel Rogeri said this is a big performance in the U.S. in particular, given the seasonality the company typically sees. But despite that performance, the stock, as we all know, down this morning, as the company reaffirmed its revenue growth guidance of 10 to 12 percent, adjusted EPS growth on the low end of 15 to 20 percent, and full year same store sales guidance in the U.S. of between 7 and 9 percent. Investors clearly looking for more this morning. Cowan saying this reflects a desire to set the bar a bit low for the new CEO, Laxman Narasimhan, and BTIG echoing that point, saying, it's conservative given the performance in the quarter and the surpassing in particular of the pre-pandemic traffic levels. One more thing to note here, Starbucks Rewards was another important jump for the company, up 15 percent from a year ago to 30.8 million members. That's going to be very important moving ahead, guys. Back over to you, David. All right. Thank you, Kate.